This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Bill Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, sent by God to your house to declare to you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, tells us what the gospel is, how that Jesus Christ died for our sins, according to the scripture, he was buried, he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the broken heart, preach deliverance to the captives, recover the sight to the blind, set at liberty them that are bruised. Thank God. Amen. The word of thy thee, even in your heart and in your mouth, there's a word of faith which I preach. People confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God unto salvation. Everyone that believeth to the Jew first, and also to the Greek. Therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by his faith. I want to welcome everyone to this broadcast on live stream, Roku, YouTube, and other devices. Thank God. Have on with me regular co host on Saturday, David Brown. Good morning. Good morning. And Paul Peters, Monday through Friday, co host. Takes two of them to keep up with me on Saturday. <laughs> hey, man, I'm kidding. Well, I uh, would like, David, for you to read, uh, I believe, Mark 16 and Mark 3. And maybe Matthew 13, something about unbelief. Okay. But let's start with 16, Mark 16. Mark 16, verse 14. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. You notice those are the words of Jesus. The man that y'all like to portray, portray as some weak person. This he's talking to his disciples, and he upbraided them. I believe that would be the eleven apostles. He upbraided them because of their hardness of heart and unbelief. Now. It's Jesus in me. It's certainly not me that ministers as an apostle, prophet, pastor, teacher, and evangelist. And it's Jesus in me that upbraids hardness of heart in his people and my people. His people and my people are the same. So, Yesterday, I can sense in the spirit a real letdown. Now, I understand Christmas season is here, and it's time to get weary. No, it's not. Gird up your loins and believe this gospel, and we are going to continue preaching it throughout the world seven days a week. Mark 3. 
Mark 3, right. verse 1. And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. And he saith unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. And he saith unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill? But they held their peace. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. Amen. Amazing the questions he has. First thing he said, is it lawful to do good or evil on the Sabbath, right? Right. And then to what save life or to kill? Right. On the Sabbath? Yes. That's the way Jesus talks. And you people think that he talks oh in other terms. Not even his words. But look, he looked around about on the people. And he was angry because of their unbelief. Angry. You see, I've had a lot of people criticize me because I minister from time to time in anger. Well, that's too bad. It happens to be the Lord in me. And I will not bow. Oh, I, I, you thought you could intimidate me. You thought you could, but you never accomplished me. Not at all. You thought nobody would give money the way I talk. Well, you were wrong. God makes them do what he wants them to do. And he, God has hearts that want to obey him. And the people will. So you see, I'm not afraid to say anything the Spirit of God says. And thinking that you might not send your offering. Well, I don't care if you send it. God supplies my needs. And I don't look to man, not one. And I've been at this a long time, friends. Almost 46 years since I sold my veterinary hospital and practice and started obeying God. The 2nd of January, 19. 70 when I sold it. And having lacked, that's not true. Went through some difficult times, but always with victory. Always with victory. Never lost one meal, not once. Did I ever not have money to eat? Oh, one that. I had all kinds of invoices do. And I started complaining to the Lord. And I spoke out. He started asking questions. He said, Is anyone about to evict you out of your house? No. What do you need? Money. Well, has anyone got your electricity off? No. Well, what do you want? Money. He asked me a whole bunch of questions. All I could say was money. Well, after he goes through this whole list, I owed everybody in the country that I wasn't being moved. That was amazing. The righteous shall never be moved. Never. Folks, 
I've got a lot of years of proof that Jehovah and his son, the man Jesus, are with me. And I have some comfort knowing that they're with me. Thank God. But I hate unbelief. And I hate the devil. I hate evil. So, David, what? Is that Matthew 13, I believe? Yes, Matthew 13, 58. Right. And he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. You see, Jesus could not do works because of the people's unbelief. That's incredible, isn't it? It is. Now, but Jesus could not do mighty works because of the people's unbelief. <clears throat> he did lay hands on a few sick folk and healed them. Isn't that right? I believe so. It says that in another place. Yeah, but that's all he could do. Because of unbelief. Unbelief is unreasonable. It's absurd. Oh, friends, I've walked in it. No, I tried to walk in it. But you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere in unbelief. Humble yourself and believe the gospel. Believe in your heart. That's where the gospel operates. In the heart of men, men and women, children. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. Unbelief produces persecution. You know why you persecute me? You have belief. Unbelief is the reason you persecute me. In Psalm 143, it talks about, well, let's, I think it's 3, 4, and 5. Yes. Let's read it. Verse 3, For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the work of thy hands. I think that's it. That's good. Did you know persecution has really manifested Increased manifestation against me. Starting back in 2000, I could sense something wrong, but I couldn't tell what it was. I started on secular television, the Book of Romans. May 1st, 2000, I knew that the church, so-called, hated the Book of Romans. I knew that. I knew most because they blessed to it. So I thought that was what was happening. Though, well, it may be some, but the sins of God's people were beginning to come down on me in a much greater way. Hebrews 12 talks about how that we have not strived against sin and the blood as Jesus did. Strive against sin. Strive against sin. 
That's what I run into. Is that 12 4 12 5? It is 12 4. 12 4. Would you read that? You have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. Right. Striving against sin. Can you read that? As you know, I was a gospel preacher. As you know, I've been in this building 30, almost 35 years. I thought I'd had a, a much bigger one. And a new one long ago. But in March 1979, God told me America wasn't near me. But He sent me. They wasn't near me. And it says in John 12, 45 and 6, I think that the words that the Lord spoke were judges in the last day. And the words I speak, they will judge you in the last day if you reject them. Thank God, I'm a servant of the Lord. Amen. Thank God, and the sins of God's people persecuted my soul greatly, greatly to the point that my spirit has been overwhelmed within me. And it's difficult for me to speak by the Spirit, but I say in that realm most of the time, speaking from the heart by the Spirit of God, and I'm gaining progress. I'm encouraged today even, but it's very, very difficult to discourage me. I'm not made to be discouraged. However, I've been disappointed. Disappointed much in God's people. Disappointed because they won't believe. They will not believe. It's disappointing to me. I don't let it stop me. I keep walking. Thank God. Amen. And I'm beginning to be really encouraged because I believe I can discern I'm about to overcome the sins that were put on my soul by my person. By my persecutor. Thank God. The sins of God's people. Unbelief is sin. Now, is sin. Thank God. God is causing me to rise above the sins of his people that were laid on my soul, persecuting me. <clears throat> and my spirit overwhelmed because of the sins of my, of my soul. 
thank God. But I'm gaining ground. Thank God. Really, gaining ground. I'm not sure, well, I am sure, but I don't. Something different in my life, and it was 2000. 2000. Thank God. And it got worse every year. Every year. One, two, three. I know how to count. 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 7, and 8. 2008, September. I believe the last, well, I don't know. Might have been the 26th. Might have been the last day. About witchcraft for more than seven hours in the fellowship hall. In the name of Jesus, I took a break on the two or three minutes over more than a seven hour period. Biden, where's it? Thank God. In October of that year, about way two people died. That had caused some effect on members of my ministry. Thank God. Let me tell you, folks, you cannot stop the gospel being preached. You cannot. He that God sent, speak God, speaks God's word. And God opposes them. Amen. So, a tough year. You can read about the testimony of that mighty witchcraft in 08 September. It'll be up shortly. Thank God. Amen. Nine. 2009. It got real tough. 2010, Tumber, 11, Tumber, 12, got Tumber, but overcame and went back on radio. Ended up on 30 radio stations. 13, things got serious. Revelation of Daniel 11, verse 20 through 28. Amen. Things were changing in my life. And here comes Daniel 11, 28. 20 through 28. In my sight, greatly diminished within an hour. Amen. 13. They got more difficult. They got 14.
Mark Jane. Mark Jane was gone. June 28th, 2014. I had little pustules developed in my lower limb and welts size of nine up to a quarter on my thigh and red splotches on my leg, one almost, well, it was half the size of a dollar bill. And about three or four of them, I couldn't see them. They got tough. I encountered the spirit. of 2004. Amen. It was tough. It was hard. That uh, I overcame in about one week. Not completely, but they started diminishing. Then I hit 2005, and they stayed there. Mine, and then, and that took a week or more, and they started diminishing more. Six, 2006. Sometime during that week, I think, they really almost cleared up. Seven and eight. They were tough. Nine. They got tougher. 2010, we go on. But let me tell you, since 2009, they, uh, well, finishing 2014 and 2015 has been one top year and a half. Real top. But I'm encouraged. I'm getting more on top of Thank God. December. I thought a month and a half ago in December I'd make great overcoming, and I think that's right. You know what it says in the book of Proverbs? As a man thinking in his heart. So is he. I'm not thinking up here. I'm thinking down here. No. What time? 1130. Thank God. I'm greatly encouraged. Overcoming my persecutor, overcoming their sins, doing well, pressing for the high mark of the calling 
of God in Christ Jesus. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. I will give you a clue. I'm not one bit of pain. Yesterday, when I finished the broadcast, I went to my office and lay on the couch speaking Isaiah 54, 17, for about 45 minutes, putting things off. Thank God. And Isaiah 54, 4, 17 says, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I condemn it in Jesus' name. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of the Lord, saying, the Lord. Took me 45 minutes. To put off pains because of weapons marked against me. Right. And time rising against me in judgment. And I condemn them in the name of Jesus. And that is my heritage as a servant and my righteousness is of the Lord, saith the Lord. I'm pressing with everything in my heart, with my faith, and no pain is a rising. Amen. Thank God. And I don't expect it to this way. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. I think if I could persuade, no, I won't do that. No other name. No other name under heaven except the name of Jesus, whereby one must be saved. Faith in that day. Thank God. Thank you, Father. No other day. Other heaven. Whereby one must be saved. Except the name of Jesus. No other name under heaven whereby one must be saved, born again, healed, one spirit with the Lord. Receive Jesus in your heart, 
we deliver thank God no other name but Jesus no other name under heaven thank God I'm enjoying this may mix with it the name You already have the faith. God has already put it in your heart. Speak, Jesus, with me or after me. Jesus, 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 or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church.